Hello everybody, welcome to another fantastic episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John. We, I and now you, are in my world famous sipping den. Yeah, it's a beautiful place to be. I do everything on this channel that has everything to do with alcohol, and I do a world famous coffee review on Sunday. Join me. Now, in order to find all these beautiful things I do, I have the most unique, up-to-date playlist on YouTube. That's a fact. I challenge you to check it out. It's just, it's so amazing, honestly, I can't even describe it. All I can say is the way I have it categorized, subcategorized, I make all the things that I review easy to find, and it's fascinating. And every single video I do, the first comment's always pinned because it has a link to whatever I'm reviewing, even whether it's the, the general category, if it fits in a subcategory. In this case, it's going to fit in beer, all right? Strike Brewing Company. You ever hear of it? San Jose, California. This is triple play, um, triple India pale ale. 10% ABV. It's in a pint can, 30 IBUs. Triple play is a behemoth of a beer, standing tall at 10% ABB, ABV, alcohol by volume, with an equally elevated flavor and aroma. The complex layered malt base is balanced by a massive dry hop of citra, amarillo, and mosaic. Hmm. All right. Always have a malt base, not always, when you have an IPA because the, they balance each other out. The malt's sweet, and you don't want it too cloying, and then you have um, hops to balance it out. In this case, though, it's a triple hop. Now, but it's dry hop, meaning it's not put into the boil. Uh, it'll add flavor when it's after the beer's kind of done boiling and everything like that. They put the hops in there to give it the flavor and the scent, but it won't give it as much of the oils won't come out, and it won't be as bitter. Probably why it's only 30 uh, IBU. Now the strike. Oh, let me show you the can. You know what's cool? My uh, son went out to uh, California. Is this gonna be my friend? Yeah, there it is. And uh, bought this for me. We're both baseball nuts, especially him, because he was a great player. Um, so, I appreciate that. He bought that for me. Um, and a little bit about the brewery. You don't want to just drink. You got to know something. So, triple, if I didn't say it, um, and it may be what I'm about to read, but triple play was to celebrate the third anniversary of this brewery, and then they just made it a uh, every year thing. Strike uh, Brewing Company is based out of San Jose, California, and has grown to be one of the premier breweries in the Bay Area. Our small, close-knit team loves brewing everything from hazy IPA and old-school lager, lagers to fruited sours and bourbon barrel-aged stouts. Our goal is to brew a fresh, delicious, ever-rotating selection of beers for the San Jose community and beyond. <sighs> All right. They've opened 2014, okay, and they have won numerous awards. Let's see how this one does. The only thing that matters is what we think. Hmm. We will put it in Monster Mug. Oh, the sound of success. All right, here's what we'll do. Look at that, nice color. So I want you to look at the color. And the last little bit, you know what we're gonna do, right? We wanna get that head cause a lot of flavors in that head. All right. That carbon dioxide kind of puts traps a lot of flavors into that uh, into that head. And that's a perfect uh, there it is. Nice color, perfect head there. All right. Once again, is this going to Yeah, it is. I like it. I like the can. I like the can. All right. Cheers my wonderful friends. Don't forget to sub. Cheers. Ooh. So it's got those three hops. I'm familiar with all of them. You're drinking them, you know, you drink beer, you get familiar with them. Because you have ones with the individuals in it. This has all three, so it's going to be very interesting. Mm. Mm -hmm. And instead of just the pine, I'm not crazy, or the, the um, grapefruit. It's okay, but not my favorite thing. This has a nice orange. That I like. White flowers, orange, a t 
tint of grapefruit and a tint of pine, but mainly overshadowed by orange and floral. Nice. All right. Acclimation sip, you know, you always got to acclimate yourself. That nice maltiness, which is the sweetness, is balanced very nice by the bittering of the hops. And that's what you want. You don't want cloyingly sweet. You don't want so bitter without the... They balance each other. And this does a good job of doing that. I love that up front, I get the sweet orange. Okay, that's dominating the scent and, all right, the nose, the smells, the nose, and the palate, the taste. Yeah, very orange. Mm hmm. Very nice. Orange is the big thing. It might have a little bit of lemon, a little bit of grapefruit. Everybody's different. You might be picking this stuff out of there. Because some of that bitterness, you might think, well, it's like a grapefruit piff. Holy. Um, and maybe a kiss of pine. But mainly sweet orange. And then you have the bittering on the back, which keeps it from being cloyingly sweet. It bounces the malt. The hops does. Yeah, so, I like this a lot, because I like the orange up front. I like the orange and floral on the nose. I like the way the hops balances out the sweetness. And I like the fact that not only does it have orange, but you might get some lemon and you might get some so citrus. You might get some grapefruit and you might get a kiss of pine. Okay, everybody's different, but I think most people get that out of there. Yeah, so, fine job. Thank you, son, for this beautiful beer. Appreciate it. He has one for himself, so make sure you enjoy yours real nice. And I'm going to see you on the next one because you've subbed, and you're going to be here now. You're going to comment. We're going to become friends. It's a beautiful thing. You're going to have coffee with me on Sunday. Yeah, I can't wait. I'll see you on the next one. Whoa, ho, it's an earthquake. No, we're fine.